Today, we're creating a stunning 3D text title with an eye-catching light ray effect in DaVinci Resolve. Stick around and I'll show you how to elevate your videos. To get this up, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and create a new fusion composition. With that selected, we are going to just leave it at default settings and hit create. We're going to take that and drag it on down to our timeline. And from there, we're going into the fusion page. Once in the fusion page, we are going to insert a 3D text node. And with the text node selected, we're going to hit a 3D merge and render. Then we're going to take the output of the render to the media output. Now, with these nodes connected, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Merge 3D and put it into our first viewer. So you can either click the dot here and bring it into the viewer, or you can just click, hold, and drag and put it into the viewer. With those nodes selected, we're going to go over to our Text 3D node. We're going to click on that. We're going to now go over to the inspector and type in whatever title that you want. We're going to change our to a yellow or gold color orange it's all up to you it can be blue whatever we're going to go out to our layout tab we're going to drop this down to be center the text again you can change the size how you want you can change the tracking which spaces out the letters you want a little bit of space between these for the light rays while you're in the text inspector you're going to want to scroll down to extrusion and with the extrusion selected we're going to change the extrusion depth in our case we're going to go 0 0.075 and we're going to change the bevel depth and we're going to go about 0 0.02 and we're going to change the border width to about say for now 0 0.02 as well in just a few moments you're going to see just how great this looks with the rays so now with this you're going to be able to see in the preview window the first one that this is sort of looking like 3D. So if you were to click this light button, now you can see that you actually have some 3D light going on. In the right hand side viewer to enable the 3D output, you will want to select the 3D render node. In the inspector in the 3D node, you're going to want to enable the lighting and shadows. Now as you can see, there is no light so all the letters look black. So now we're going to go back and select a merge 3D node. And with that selected, we're going to go up to the toolbar and add a 3D light source. Take that and drag it down onto our node tree. From there, we're going to actually take the output of the spotlight and connect it to the merge 3D node. Making sure that we have the spotlight node selected, we're going to pull back the spotlight to shine on the 3D node to give it light. What we need to do is we need to zoom out. And to zoom out, you're going to control in the wheel that will zoom it in and zoom it out. As you zoom it out, you want to highlight the whole word. You can zoom back in a little bit. You can move this around to how you want it. From there, we're going to go up to our inspector and we're going to go to transform tab. We're going to turn on use a target. What that does is it turns on a target and anchors the light to that part of the word. So as you can see, See, if you move this left and right, the light will follow that target. If you move it up and down, it will also follow that target. So that just anchors it to the point that you assign it to on the word. So now, as you can see, that there is a bright spot on the word light rays. So we're going to actually take and drag our camera up. We can move the camera anywhere you want without losing the target. So we're going to drag it up to a at a 70 degree angle and try to lessen some of the area here that turned really bright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add an ambient light. So select the 3D merge control space and we're going to search for ambient lighting. And with the ambient light, we're going to add that to our 
node tree. With the ambient light selected, we're going to go over to our inspector. We're going to increase, or actually in this case, decrease the intensity. We're going to say about 0.25 will work, and that will change the way that the light rays looks. So now we're going to go over to the render 3D node, highlight that, and we're going to go control space, and we're going to add a directional blur. With the directional blur selected, we're going to go over to the inspector and in the inspector we're going to change the type from linear to zoom all that does is it changes the blur from being linear which is side to side to a zoom which will be more focused we're also at this time going to change the length to say about one and we're going to change the glow to about 0.1 so now we're going to animate this a little bit we're going to actually go over and make sure that our clip is on the starting point which is zero this is our playhead indicator location and you can change the playhead by entering what number or key of frame that you want at this point so we're going to go to the zero frame we're going to take and drop the center x to zero we're going to add a keyframe right there now we're going to bring our playhead all the way to the very end of the clip and we're going to add another keyframe at 1.5 now we're going to play this clip and see how it looks and as you can see it's not too bad the only thing is it don't look good because we're missing the title so now we're going to fix that. So what we have to do now is we're going to take the output of the 3D node render and add it to the output of the directional blur. And with this, we will now have the title in the background and the light rays. If we play that, you will see that it looks a little better. So as you can see, it doesn't look like it's really merged properly enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a soft glow. So control space and enter a soft glow. Now we're going to take that hit shift and add it to the section from the render 3D to the merge. With the soft glow selected, we're now going to go over into the inspector and we're going to change the gain. We're going to put this at say 0.5 and then we're going to change the glow size to something about half of what it is make it five play that and you can see that it looks a little better from here as you can see this looks pretty good but what we're going to do now is we're going to add some keyframes so that we can actually fade in and out the light rays so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go over and we're going to highlight the directional blur make sure that's active we're going to go into our inspector we're going to then change to the settings tab please make sure that you have your playhead set to zero we're going to go in to the blend parameter and we're going to set the value to zero and we're going to put a keyframe there so now we're going to go to about a quarter of the way through so we're going to go about to frame 30 and we're going to add another keyframe we're going to change the value to a one and that will automatically create a keyframe now we're going to go to frame 90 and add another keyframe at one at that position now we're going to go to the end of, of the frame and with our playhead at the end of the timeline we are now going to add a keyframe and we're going to take the blend back down to zero with that done we're actually going to do the exact same thing for the soft glow we're going to highlight the soft glow and now we're going to go up to the soft glow controls and go into the settings or soft glow with the soft glow settings we're going to go to the beginning of the timeline and playhead at zero we're going to take the blend all the way down to zero add a keyframe so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to frame 30 and we're going to add a keyframe at one then we're going to take and go back over to frame 90 and add another keyframe then we're going to go to the end of the video and we're going to add another keyframe at zero so now that when you play this back it looks good it, it fades in it blows through the light rays and then it fades out 
looks pretty good to us. So if you go back over to the edit tab, you can play this and now it looks good like it's supposed to. You can change any wording that you want. You can have it any title that you want. You can change to any color that you want. And when you change the text in the fusion, it will automatically change any of the other light rays, colors, everything will follow. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and you'll see the next in the series.